Chinese President Hu Jintao is visiting the continent this week with stops in Mali, Senegal, Tanzania, and Mauritius. Joining us now to discuss Chinese African relations is uh, VOA Beijing Bureau Chief Stephanie Hall. Welcome to In Focus, Stephanie. Thank you. Hi, President. Hi, um, Stephanie. Very fine. So, uh, you see, China's interest in Africa is seen by many as being driven by the almost unquenchable thirst for the mineral resources of the continent. But we've noticed, uh, Stephanie, that uh, China is also courting countries that are not known to be wealthy in mineral resources. Uh, talk of uh, Mali, Senegal, and even Zimbabwe. What is the motivation? Well, I, I think... We'll First, I wanted to talk about um, China's unquenchable thirst. I mean, that's definitely correct. Um, when you mentioned $80 billion in trade volume uh, in 2007, the numbers for 2008 were actually $107 billion, which is up um, hugely from, 2000, um, from the year 2000 when the trade volume was about $10.5 billion. So it's, 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 um, it's risen dramatically. Nowadays, though, I mean, especially with um, President Hu Jintao, he's going to Mali, to Senegal, to uh, Mauritius and Tanzania. They're not huge, um, they're not countries with huge mineral or oil resources or so. China is also trying to emphasize that it um, is looking to Africa to make friends and to, um, to help where it can or so. Stephanie, if you could just elaborate on that, as you just pointed out, of course, the last trip that Mr. Hu made to Africa, eight countries, was a very different message. It was obviously in pursuit of in investment and trade opportunities. And here now we keep hearing that this particular trip is about um, consolidate, consolidating and strengthening friendly relations. Why or how can you explain that shift in position on China? Well, I, I think one of the things um, that could be a factor this time around is, is the financial crisis. I mean, Chinese demand, I think, for a lot of these resources, for a lot of the products, uh, uh, commodities that it was getting from Africa, I imagine ha the, the demand is, is, uh, is less than it was before. And so perhaps China wants to stay away from, country, from, from, from focusing on this and focusing instead on where perhaps little bits of investment or smaller investments can go a lot further. So they're looking, you know, they haven't um, announced specifically what projects they are uh, planning to, to, to undertake, what deals they're planning to sign, what aid packages they're planning to give. But I, I, I think it's because they want to uh, gain friends, but it, it's, it's uh, shall we say, cheaper, or it's, you know, they're, 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 there's a little bit, there's less money that they can give, and it would go a lot further. And, and, and you know, talk about cheap, but talk about money. Uh, Stephanie, uh, for many, the concern is that Africa is getting a raw deal in their relationship with China, that it's uh, literally signing away its wealth to China for very little. How does China counter that particular charge? Well, I, yeah, that, that, that accusation has been made uh, a, a lot, in fact. Um, but China really tries to emphasize this sort of what it likes to say is the win-win, mutually beneficial aspect of any sort of relationship. And they want to come in and help build roads, um, help <coughs> train um, engineers, help, uh, you know, improve health care and this and that. So, I mean, I, th I think China feels like it's, it's, it's trying to, to make uh, make things better as well. I, I don't know, you know, not having been in Africa, not having uh, seen the Chinese on the ground, I'm not sure how it how it translates in, in reality, but I mean, I, I think the Chinese... Stephanie? So yeah. we, we just want to jump in there quickly and just, um, if you could just verify for, verify for us the information we are getting that there's been a huge African influence or influx into China. What do you personally see and what does that indicate? Very briefly, if you could. Um, I, I don't know if there's been a huge influx. Um, in, in some cities, especially in the south, it, there, there, there's a large and growing African uh, community there. And, and a lot of the people, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking about 20,000 um, Africans living in uh, a city in China called Guangzhou. And most of them apparently are illegal immigrants or so. I, 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 um, I think they want to be in China because there, there is a lot of opportunity. And so a lot of these people are commercial traders. I mean, Guangzhou is sort of the um, manufacturing capital of China. And oh. that's where all the stuff comes Thank from. You. And so that, 
that would explain. And indeed, we do hear of a place called uh, Chocolate City. You will tell us about that next time. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you, Stephanie. Yes, and that was our uh, Beijing VOH uh, Bureau Chief, Stephanie Hall.